thả lỡ
I've never felt further from what I know and love.
That would only slow me down. would only slow me down.
pretty as porcelain, but her mouth spins like the potter's wheel. That's how I once described Diala. Yet on this day, my lady is as ravishing as a nightmare, radiant as the fullest moon. Diala is my gemling queen, and we shall rule side by side over the world that will soon come to be. Cockroach. Strange. Inundated with cockroaches, I am. Black ones, four limbs, nasty, spiky things. Are you spiky? If so, my ribbons will pluck your spines. Malachi liked spines. Liked my spine. Pretty spine. Bejeweled and bountiful. Enough to make an empire weep. Do you weep, not a cockroach? I do. Tears are infinite. Why, on this very day, I found a new reason to cry. What is that you have? Not a cockroach. My ribbon spool. Those black ones wanted them, my ribbons. Who wanted to wrap the city in black ribbons. Now they are my ribbons forevermore. Forevermore. I hate forever. I could tear happy ever after from bards bleeding tongues. You're still here, not a cockroach. Oh, gratitude. Yes, I should give you a token. Token? What token? This? Is this to your liking? The cockroaches will come again. They want the twist. That cockroach emperor. The other bugs shout his name. Revisius. Cross the river. Squash the emperor cockroach in his nest. The bridge. It is barricaded. That spawns a tricky question. Questions, questions. I asked too many questions. Tit has told me so. I asked where it all went. Our feculence. He made them show me. Under the river. The sewers from this side to that. Filthy, fetid tunnels like a rower's cloaca. A black place. Crawling with the undying. Once beautiful and arrogant gemlings. Now the foul waste of the Empire. Fitting, isn't it? I like you, not a cockroach. I like that you listen. It would annoy me if the Undying murdered you. Dormitic sulfite. That's what you need. A nasty, nasty substance it is. Melikai had his slaves mine it. Carry it from northern mountains to the refinery by the docks. Ezomites. Marrakesh Karui. It killed them all. Fevered the blood and scorched the mind. But you are clever, not a cockroach. You will keep it at arm's length. You will bring it to me so that I may make you something. An infernal talk that will bring furious light to undying darkness. I loved Malachi. He gave me gems. Divine jewels for his gemling queen. For his dead queen. But I didn't want me dead. Malachi begged. For him, for the Empire. I chose me. Selfish me. The Empire died. And I live. I live and live and live and live. I was the Emperor's favorite for a time. But Chichas had many favorites. He filled the scepter of God with favorites. Every now and then, he cleared away the clutter. Those who pleased him, they were given to his lords and generals. Those who did not, were given to his thaumaturgists. I talked too much. Asked too many difficult questions. I was gifted to Malachi. My dear, troubled Malachi. Goodbye, not a cockroach. I awoke, feverish and barely conscious, I sat to drawing these maps through the sable hours. By morning, my fingers ached, my eyes burned, yet still I found no rest. The reverie commanded its rendering. The reverie device now stands completed. I have placed the first of my maps within its receptacle. I have taken my maiden voyage into nightmare. I know now that which sent me this precious gift. 
It knows me. It's, it's my return. It would be foolish to disappoint. Malachi. Tear down the walls that imprison the mind. That is what the gems do. That is their true virtue. The moment my fingertips brushed the cool, silken plains of that fast jam, I felt it. My skull ached as if its contents were growing, pressing against the bone, searching for a way to break free. That night, once the wine had dulled the pain enough to allow the onset of sleep, the dreams began. I have not been without them since, nor would I be. Every spark of thaumaturgy that I wield, every device that I forge, every creature that I transfigure, I owe to these lessons cloaked in nightmare. From whence do these precepts hail? Certainly not the mundane grey between my ears. I possess only one reference that bears faith. Translated with unquestionable clarity by that idiot savant, Isius Spirandus, the beast. Dulyani of the vow knew the truth. Soon now, so shall I. Malachi. I could hardly hope for better results. That would only slow me down.
Oh, oh, oh.